Hey, what's up, guys? Craft Farms here, and welcome back to another video. So, continuing right where we left off yesterday, um, the only thing that I've done different is um, I went ahead and got the Sunflower Header. Uh, it's the biggest in game one, and I got that on the trailer, and I dropped the corn head uh, over here. And then the pickup is sitting over here by field 5 with the fuel trailer on it. Um, so that way once we need to refill fuel, uh, we can just come over here and fill or take the truck over there or whatever. Um, I do see that there's a couple of bins over there now. Those didn't used to be there, I don't think. I could be wrong, but I don't remember them being there. Um, so this is the hog barn right here. Uh, I haven't done anything with pigs, so... Can walk in here and check it out. It's still got the sound files going for it. But anyway... We're gonna continue planting here and see, uh how much we can get done <coughs> so there's gonna be a lot of uh, driving involved during harvest season uh, we'll be taking the grain trucks and the combine in one trip because we have the uh, combine trailer so we can haul the combine with the Air National grain truck and have the Chevy grain truck on follow me and then take the grain cart and another load or you know then drive the grain cart and then drive the header over so definitely going to be a uh, bit of driving but uh, I could I guess put everything on follow me mod too but I don't always trust follow me mod with some things because at times it likes to just go completely whack so I don't always enjoy uh, using it on I mean if it's just to have one thing follow I don't mind it but when I got four or five things following then it kind of gets a little crazy I kind of want to go in and edit the planting speed on this planter. I'll bump it up to like 9 or something, but... I know this is realistic. It's just... I'm kind of getting tired of planting already. And we're not even halfway done with planting this season, so... I know I kind of complain about that a lot, but... It's just because planting is kind of one of my least favorite things to do. Hmm. Alright then. I know they did work. I don't know why they don't want to come on now, but... I forgot to do that. I can tell there's something right here, but what it is, I don't know. It's got like a big white line through it. I don't see any other errors though, took like a static actor move, but another thing with the all fruit silo, that's about it. I don't know. It did work at some point. Tell it was like right there's where it was. Oh, 
<clears throat> I'd say we're getting close to being halfway across over to that end. We're pretty close to it at least. The spraying will definitely go by really quick with being able to run basically full speed. Of course, we won't run, you know, full throttle spraying, but we will go probably 10 or 10 or more mile an hour. Let's say 10 to 12, something like that, when we spray. <coughs> That'll help kind of speed that along. At least once we finish um, planting oats, our fields will be smaller, so it won't quite won't take quite as long to plant after oats are done. The oats are just kind of what's going to take the longest. So, but they're getting done, I guess. It's really all that matters. I do have a little bit of my cough yet. It's not what it was uh, when I was videoing uh, yesterday for me. As I'm currently recording here on Sunday. And this, I think, is like Wednesday's video or something. I don't know, I haven't been keeping track much, you know. I think this is Thursday. I think this is the fourth video that I'm recording for the week. Something like that. Definitely dark inside here. We should probably get a screenshot here. Oops, I did that backwards. <coughs> There's our thumbnail screenshot. Still got about a half tank of seed, so should have enough to at least finish this first set of passes. I would think, maybe, It'd be pretty close, I guess. It's kind of funny how, like, the distance, you know, the view of the distance is a little off from the actual thing. Like, it's about two-thirds of the actual 
thing that's showing there. And then like that one, it's over it. And kind of funny how that always works. Things look uh, a little bit different than they do when you're actually up to them. This is the old dairy farm. We may get back into it in the future, I don't know. One of these days I'll do some testing and play around on this save game, and, or this this particular version of the map and, and see what uh, what just what uh, what I could do differently I did see that uh, the creator of this map he is starting a new one um, I don't remember what it was called now he had kind of like a teaser picture uh, on his Facebook Uh, sounds like it'll be kind of interesting. It looked, at least the area that he took his picture in was pretty, uh, you know, was done up quite a bit. So he must be, must have had it in the works for a while now. Kind of keeping it on the low. Kind of like what I did with my map, except. I didn't keep it on the low terribly long. And I just kind of... I basically put my fields in and laid out my roads and that was about it. I have done my terrain as well, I guess. I just don't have that particular terrain in the map right now. Uh, for while I'm putting in the fields and stuff. I do still have a lot of work to do and before I can uh, <clears throat> put the actual terrain in and leave it in. I do every once in a while put it in there just kind of see what it's looking like, um, see how things look, but Getting it done bit by bit here. This field's definitely pretty long. And it is fairly wide too as well. I think this little field would be a nice field to pick up sometime in the future. Or even pick up, uh, start running both of them and then just kind of combine them into one, you know, tear out that strip in the middle and you know, kind of angle that corner so it just kind of slides into this field same with up there just kind of angle it in there and make it like one big field that would definitely be something to do when uh, we have much larger equipment that's for sure have a message here that I need to look at.
one thing that kind of sucks about uh, recording a lot of videos at once is kind of start to get uh, you know, start to run out of things to talk about. Uh, for those of you wondering what this is, it's a tread gauge. Got to have that at work. I just had to go buy one this morning. Have to have that at work because we are supposed to check how much tread there are on tires and not have one of these before. Uh, basically, you just push this all the way down and then, you know, say my finger is uh, in between the treads on the tire, then you just push it down until it stops and then you read what number it is and that tells you how much tread is on a vehicle's tire. Uh, like I checked, looked at my tires when I got home and uh, I think my rears are 12, uh, 30 seconds and my fronts are 11, 30 seconds or no, my rears are 11s, my fronts are 12s. Uh, it reads in millimeters and 30 seconds. So <coughs> we go by the 30 seconds. Pretty sure that they're much different. So that's what we have to go by. Closer to that edge. I do like all the details on this map, it is very well detailed. A lot of people, uh, I'm sure, don't like it because it slows down their computer and you know, their game runs slower, but I don't really have issues with it. I'm running 30, 30 to 40 usually. In some places it runs a little lower, like the farmyard it runs a little lower with all the equipment sitting there. I think in the yard I'm usually running about 20 to, between 20 and 30. But if I still was using my old laptop I wouldn't be running this map period because it'd probably run like 2 frames a second. I remember thinking, you know, it was awesome to be running 15 frames a second, and now if I'm running 15, it's like, holy smokes, this is so slow and so laggy. It's always funny to think about how the first computer was garbage, and now I've got this one that's really good. Someday I plan to try and build my own desktop gaming computer make like a monster computer or something but I don't think that'll be anytime super soon but one day it's kind of a dream pretty much is what it is One thing that will be nice, you know, about just building a computer is I can build it, you know, to 
as nice of specs as I want. And, and I can choose my own graphics card and my own, you know, processor and all that stuff. It doesn't have to be something that I pick from that a store has. You can stick like a giant uh, graphics card in it. And another nicer thing about desktops too is that you can actually change out parts. You know, with laptops, like you can't go and get a different graphics card and put it in there. Because with uh, laptops, I guess it, I was told they're like hard, hard how oh, they're hardwired into the hard drive or the motherboard is what it is. Um, so yeah, um, as far as I know, that's pretty much impossible. And not something that I'd want to try anyways. Which this one does have a pretty decent one in it. It has a uh, GTX 960M in it. So it has a pretty decent graphics card in it. And it usually runs games pretty well. Or at least the ones that I play. Which is pretty much nowadays only farm sim. I don't really play much of anything else anymore. Kind of lost interest in most other games. But I have seen that uh, My Summer Cars had a lot of updates done to it, so I might have to look into downloading that again and checking that out. But, I don't know, we'll see. I haven't played American Truck Sim in ages either. That one kind of really lost interest in that one. I would like to play it with my G27. I think that'd be pretty cool. But I don't have room to have both the G27 and the SciTech wheel. And I prefer the SciTech over the G26 for um, farm sim. Uh, I used to use my G27 for farm sim until they release the SciTech and I mean it works it just I like the setup of this a little more than using the G27 for it Alright, final pass of these first rounds. Now it's just going back and filling it in. We are still doing pretty decent on fuel. It hasn't turned red yet, so... <coughs> then again, it'll probably turn red when we still have like 100 liters of fuel left. So we'll have like plenty of fuel to go for a while yet. But... And we're about four and a half minutes, so... I don't know, maybe we'll be able to uh, finish the field tomorrow, or at least get pretty close to where I can just finish it off camera. Let's see, I guess so. I am trying to do some off camera work, but I don't want to do a whole bunch, because I don't want to spend all of my time doing off camera work when I could be, you know, getting videos recorded. So. Maybe in the future it'll be more off-camera work, 
once I'm like kind of caught up but for now I just need to focus on getting videos made but I also don't want to spend like four videos just on one field or something oh this is I think like the second video on this field and there will probably be one more so I suppose it'll probably average about three field, three videos a field or so, two or three. And so not going to be a super ton of videos on one field, but there will still be quite a few. So I think it's that tank that doesn't fill. I know this one's seed and then I think that one there is fertilizer. Either that one or the one on the left. I'm pretty sure it's the one on the right. Pretty sure. I'm not 100% positive but I'm pretty sure. We do only have two fields left, 16 and 17, which they're both, both of them are smaller than this field, but they're, uh, they're either bigger than field 9 or pretty close to the same size. I think they're pretty close. 16 might be, like, maybe a little smaller. 17 is probably about the same. I mean, it shouldn't take, hopefully, too terribly much longer to plant oats, but just gonna have to kind of find out and see. We got a lot of passes left in this field. What's our uh, PDA look like? Oh wow, it doesn't even it doesn't even actually like show. It might if we go to growth. No, shows the whole field. Whoops. Huh, that's interesting. Normally it will show like your strips but I guess it could be because um, you know they're pretty small strips and the field is very large or something I don't know then again it is giants so odd things kinda come with the game I think one thing though, if we do get into cattle again, I think I'm going to do square bales this time. Because they're a little easier to handle than round bales are. I mean, I like doing round bales because that's what we do in real life, but in farm sim they just don't play very well. Although I do have a pretty nice round bale trailer that I haven't used yet. Uh, it's the Pride of the Prairie bale trailer right here pretty neat little trailer but uh, I think I'd rather use like the Massey Ferguson or like one of these balers here and then use like that and then get like a loader trailer or something I don't know if you can wrap square bales with these or not this thing would work pretty well too that'd be kind of interesting to use you can make uh, make bales out of it It'd be kind of neat but alrighty anyway guys that's gonna do it for today if you enjoyed the video be sure to hit that thumbs up button if you're new to the channel welcome to the channel be sure to subscribe if you like what you see be sure to turn on the post notifications to be notified every time I upload a video be sure to check out down below in the description for my PC specs my upload schedule as well as links to all my social medias and some other cool YouTube channels that are worth taking a look at. Thanks for watching you guys, and as always, we'll see you tomorrow.